I have the brand new iPhone 11 and 11 Pro, and we are gonna see how tough these phones are in a drop test. Why? Because Apple said this. iPhone 11 has a beautiful anodized aluminum glass design. And that glass, it's the toughest ever in a smartphone, on the front and back. So let's take them out of the boxes and get straight to the drops. iPhone 11. iPhone 11 Pro, ready to go. So I have the iPhone 11 in black and the 11 Pro in space gray. I chose these colors because I thought it would be easier for me to see any potential defects or cracks in the glass with these two colors. We know that the glass on both of these phones is custom made by Corning, the same company behind Gorilla Glass. Enough talk about the glass, let's just get straight to dropping them. If you've watched any of our previous drop tests, then you'll know that we usually drop them by hand, like so. But this year is different. We've built this. It's a drop machine that's gonna make the results as consistent as possible, dropping on the screen and the back. So how it works, we take a phone, this is last year's 10R, attach it like so, and then gravity will do the rest. Oh, that's gonna hurt. Oh, it's fine actually. Okay, well let's get to it. <laughs> For our first drop, we are gonna start at pocket height or hip height, which is about three feet. We're gonna drop both of the phones one at a time, screen side down and then back side down from each of the set heights. First up, the three feet, okay. All right, three, two, one, drop. Let's take a look at the front. The screen looks fine. Camera looks clear, and around the back, that looks fine. It survived the first drop. Now it's time to drop on the back. It didn't sound good. Okay, let's take a look. It sounded bad, but it appears to be fine. No visible damage there. Screen is fine and the camera still looks clear. All right, iPhone 11 survived three feet. Let's move to the 11 Pro. Same deal, front and back drops. Look at the front, looks okay. No visible scratches. The camera looks fine, can't see anything there. And around the back, it's all good, survived that drop. Now let's drop it on the back. Woo! It's a little bit of a flip there. see what happened. So it did a bit of a flip and it landed on the back and then the screen, but the back looks fine. Screen also looks fine, even though it selected an app and the camera is okay. So both phones survived three feet, drops on the front and the back. So we're gonna take it to the next level, six feet. First, iPhone 11, screen side down. Little bit of a twist there. It did a flip, we're getting interesting, okay. Let's take a look. Can't see any visible scratches. The camera looks fine. And around the back, it's looking good. Survived. Time to drop the back. So that landed pretty flush and straight on the back and things are still looking okay. The back looks fine, no visible scratches that I can see. Screen is okay. And so is the camera. 
survived six feet, so 11 pro time. 11 pro, six feet face down. We have some damage here. I can see some pixels damaged here on the screen see that right there see the screen itself is still functioning but there's still definitely an issue there the camera is looking okay there's no actual crack on the screen it's just those pixels there and the back looks fine 11 Pro six feet backside down That sound makes my heart skip a beat every time. Looks to be okay. Nothing on the back. The screen, still we have those damaged pixels there. But the screen itself isn't scratched or cracked and the camera is still working fine. Okay, well, still no cracks. Let's take it to the highest height that our machine can go to, eight foot seven, dropping the 11 first, Let's see what happens. Okay. Ah! That sounded painful. What? The screen is fine. <laughs> that was screen side down. I can't see any visible damage on the screen. The camera looks fine. And around the back, it looks okay. Crazy, it sounded so bad, but it's fine. Okay, backside down. Oh. Oh. So this did a bit of a flip and then it did land on its back. I can definitely see there is a little bit of damage up here on the, this lens but I don't think it's an actual crack. Let's see if it looks any different in the camera. It's fine when they're shooting on the camera, but there is a cosmetic issue. Now for the 11 Pro, same deal, front and back. Screen first. Super flat drop there on the screen and I think we have developed another little bit of a damaged pixel right in the middle there. You can really see it when you have a dark screen or something like a dark photo like that. The screen itself is still functioning. There is no scratch. Camera looks fine. And around the back, things are fine. One more drop on the back of the 11 Pro. So landing on the back, some definite damage up here on the camera lens, like we saw on the regular 11. Just on the rim though, it doesn't look like the glass itself is damaged. Let's take a look at the front, open things up. Take a look at the camera. Again, can't see any evidence that it's affected the lens itself in terms of taking a photo, but definitely cosmetically, there is some damage here. So I'm genuinely surprised at that result. There was just a little bit of cosmetic damage on the camera housing on both and those pixels on the 11 Pro, but the glass did not crack. These are pretty strong. So I know what you're here for. You wanna see something break. So we're gonna take it up as high as we can go. It's just under 11 feet and see what happens. Oh. Unbelievable, that screen has not been damaged at all. The 
front looks fine. The back looks fine. Camera's a little confused. Let's open it up again. Back into the camera. Oh, I, I think we killed the camera, you guys. There's nothing responding there at all. There's no image at all. The physical hardware is fine, but it's just not registering the camera. Oh, I'm sorry, iPhone 11. Now the Pro. Good luck, little friend. Three, two, one, drop. Well, it looks like the SIM card tray popped out, but I'll pop that back in again. The screen looks okay. The back is miraculously still alive, but it's not on. It turned itself off. Okay, turn it back on again and see if it's alive. Okay, so it's turned itself off and then I just turned it back on again and it looks like the screen is still fine. Let's take a look at the camera here. Camera still works. Still got all those views. The images look fine. It's still taking photos. So it survived. Unbelievable. And the camera still works, unlike the 11. Well, I took them as high as we could go indoors and nothing broke in terms of the glass. Yes, there were some couple problems elsewhere, but overall, these are definitely the toughest iPhones that we have drop tested here at CNET so far. Thanks for watching. Make sure to check out our full iPhone 11 and 11 Pro coverage and come back for more torture tests.